guys, Chris here from the Pissing Frog Brewery, no longer in South Yorkshire. After today's Beer Fun Friday upload, I decided I'd do a commercial beer review that I may try to get up tonight before close of play. So, a uh, hard day at work and come home, Gert's going, Gert's gone out. She almost be a babe has gone out with her mates for a Chinese Chinese meal, sorry. Um, so I thought I'd bring in the reserves. No, 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 no. It's not to um, blow up barrel coming out of the court, uh, out of the cupboard. It's um, we get going for the big hitters here. It's not a massive amount of ABV on this one, but. We're rocking in at 7.2, and this is done. It's easy for me to say. Okay. Um, this is the first beer of the night, and I haven't had anything to eat yet, so this could get a bit sticky. Ooh, uh. um, before Christmas, we were out uh, in Lincoln. This is just a bit of backstory for this bottle. Uh, and on Steep Hill, there's that's uh, a road. Well, actually, it's not a road. It's more of a, um, it's more like the north face of the Eiger. Uh, it's a bastard of a climb um, walking up there. It's a pedestrianised area. And um, there's a beer shop on there, as well as uh, beer. They sell wine, uh, and it's not the whiskey shop that's right at the top end. It's further down. And I spotted this. And it brought back a few memories because I used to live where this brewery, not far from the where this brewery um, is based. This brewery is based in uh, Luddington, North Links, DN17, while I used to live in DN15, which is uh, Epworth, the area around there. Uh, and the area that surrounds Epworth is known as the Isle of Axholm. Uh, the Axholm is a river, I think. Uh, so, instead of waffling on, this is the Axon Brewing Company Special Reserve, 7.2% at 500ml. A powerful, rich and fruity beer, flavours of candied orange peel dominate this fully bodied, sorry, full bodied, decadent brew. Uh, Axon Brewing Company beers are bottle conditioned for maximum flavour, please pour with care. Ingredients, water, malt, hops, yeast. So. Nicely settled on the bottom. Let's get this cracked open. Nice piece there. Good bit of cannon smoke. Looks a little bit lively as well. Hmm. Stone fruits, sort of like your dried fruits, um, dates, you know, that sticky, dark, sweet aroma coming out of the bottle. So let's give this a pour, shall we, and stop waffling. I was expecting this to be a little bit darker. Obviously, it looks a lot darker on camera than what it actually is. A nice golden orange hue to it. And a bit of magical Eastern music in the background. Well, it's not a magical Eastern music, actually, it's uh, Kashmir. Um, Led Zeppelin. As accompanies most of my videos that I do in the kitchen, um, we have the good old Planet Rock on in the background. So, nothing wrong with a good bit of classic rock. There's the colour, guys. As your hat, as you can see, that thing is doing it again. Beautiful. Bloody bubbles stick to the side of the glass. 
cracking through the bloody work tops in. So there's good carbonation there. A very loose bubbled, sorry, uh, half finger head. Mm. It's all about the malt this one guys. A bit of hop bitterness coming off, I don't know what hops they've used. I wouldn't even hazard a guess, probably, no, no I can't even, I can't even go there. I, I can smell the malts coming off there, so, and some of the alcohol. Let's give this a taste, shall we? Mmm. Mmm. Ooh. I was going to say, the initial taste disguises the alcohol content. While it's not a massive beer, I've got bigger beers out there, um, which I'll probably do maybe later, depending on how arse old I get. Um, good bitterness, lasting bitterness. The initial sweetness is um, it carried away. The hoppy bitterness comes back at you and just lingers around, coating the sides of your tongue and your mouth. <clears throat> carbonation break, excellent carbonation as usual, from as you would expect from most commercial beers. Dogs just walked in on cue. There's not really an alcohol burn. Warming, very, very slightly warming. I'd say a medium, medium mouthfeel. That bitterness is really surprising, it's really nice. Bit of a swirl, bit of a degas, and then lo and behold, a one thing ahead. Nice, tight white bubbles. Not much of a, um, not much of lacing. God, that bitterness done half last, guys. So, this is the special reserve from the Axon Brewing Company. Fairly local to our, uh, our, our location here uh, in the UK. If you see it, try it. You'll be surprised. I actually quite like this. Couldn't have too many, obviously, with the a higher ABV, but that bitterness carries some of the alcohol away, as in uh, the flavour of the alcohol. It's well disguised. God, it doesn't half last. But it's not an unpleasant bitterness. It's not something that's nasty and astringent. It is very, I've said this before, it wraps you up in a hot blanket. This one is more like a, a horse blanket. A bit rough around the edges on the old hoppage. No, it's actually it's very nice. I would buy this uh, definitely again. So. I can't remember how much I paid for it. Probably a couple of quid, maybe three quid. Three pound twenty, something like that. So the Axon Brewing Company Special Reserve at 7.2%. Gets the thumbs up from the Pissing Frog Brewery. There is a website address on here, www.axhomebrewing.co.uk. So that's A-X-H-O-L-M-E Brewing Co.uk. Okay, if you want to go and have a look, I suggest you check them out. I've been Chris Frog. You've all been awesome as always. I may catch you later. You never know when the pissing frog will appear. Bye for now.